Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a bloody great day. <laughs> so here we are once again with L.A. Noir. I love this game even though the main character is an arsehole. The game still wonderfully and beautifully creates the period. So today, Cole Phelps is faced with an odd case. A car has been found in a rail yard and the circumstances look extremely suspicious. It looks like foul play. So without further ado, let's get on with the show and I will see you on the flip side. Enjoy! Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. God reminds me of someone. I can't remember who it is. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. Traffic, huh? I'm going to start okay. you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Come on, Phelps. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn... First off, let's see if we can get rid of this bloody suit. Some really shitty suits here. Nineteen forty-seven, not nineteen twenty-seven. Of course, a girl can ask. A they really out. pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Canary says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee he walked. There's the guy. You know this place? I heard he's an honest cop. Sure. There's an oxymoron. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle? Code so, let's go do that. a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROT. Yeah, no way. Grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Yeah, no way. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. 
fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this... I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. No, would I. No. You were up there. All units of 159 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Be gay, look this way. Hurry, I'm not still trapped him. I think you broke my nose. Well, that's the end of that guy. <laughs> Let's go do that mission. Yeah, the car, Bukowski. Yeah, we're gonna go the other way. Oh, unbelievable! Hey, look, what can I say? You know, it's a virtual car. I'm gonna run over everything. Problems, Phelps. Yeah, this is a really good game. It's got a lot of intrigue. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Okay, first case. As a D. As a D. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing mm. by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Not until I've checked out the scene. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an Broderick. owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, okay. we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Yeah, got it. Nice day for it. Uh, what's the coroner say? How long are you going to keep me here, sir? I better get back to work, sir. Junk. One live holster. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. What was the surface of urban I be doing with a pig? 
How's the world looking? My, 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 this is a bit of a mess. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. No, victim looks like he's lost all the blood. Contaminated soil, my guess. Big lump of shit. Happier times, I guess. I guess. Good address. years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Stencil. Stencil glasses. And it's been repaired. Home repaired by the look of it. What else we got? I swear this town's going to right there. Ooh. After this, I got two more jobs and let's see. The brand name might give us something to go on. A heater of them. What a heater fitting. Oh, good. Oh, for us. Anything else? Doc. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Any eight. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Popo. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. I think he's telling the truth. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Well, we got no evidence, but he's obviously done something, so we're gonna give him some doubt. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. That same pipe. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Yeah, I think he's true. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need more. Food. <laughs> if you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head Let's over. Let's do there. that. I have no other car that was here. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Black residence.
wow, <laughs> what a great game. Don't forget, if you want to see more of this game, then hit that like button, it's the only way you're going to see more. I just love this game, it's like playing a movie and you really feel that way. Uh, I just love the way the characters are so readable, even those that are not witnesses. Everyone in the game is just human-like in their expressions, nothing like AI at all. They did such an amazing job of it. Well, whoever was in that car is in a bloody bad way. It makes me wonder just who got nailed in this car. Was it Frank Morgan? Adrian Black? Someone else? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. There you go. That's your lot for this episode. If you want to see more of the series, just hit that like button. It's the only thing that tells me that you want it to continue. From now on, games will only continue as a series based solely on the likes. If you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button so you'll be kept in the loop for all the new content on the channel. So for now, you have a bloody great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.